absolutely impeccable. The more I come into the hills, the more I come into these wide open spaces, depopulated, de-domesticated. Even though some of these landscapes are farms, there's still wildness in them. And look at these clouds. And the more you come into the hills, the more you realise everything's alive. Everything has consciousness. Everything taps in to the great conviviality, the great colloquium. And the more I come in here, the more I look at people down in the city as completely demented. Especially if you have a job. Because let's not forget it, job is short for jobby. And a jobby is that which comes out of your arse. And so a job today is not work. It never was. The real work is the real corpus, not the corporate that has hijacked the corpus, taken its name, taken its vital statistics, and enlarged it. So that now a corporation of several thousand people can constitute a single person in law. So that now a person against the corporate stands no chance. So that's how your body has been laid waste to. And the more you come into the hills, the more you put space in your brain. And the more space you have in your brain, the more you can work these things out. and see things as they really are. And once you start seeing the city for the wasteful, profligate and filthy entity that it is, and all jobbers as prostitutes, in the true sense of the word, as institutors of progress. That's what a prostitute is. Then you'll start avoiding the city and start escaping from it. This is what real courage is. Courage consists in getting away from the violations, not in contributing towards them. And certainly not burying your head in your hand with your security blankets and your Barbie dolls and your dummies and placators and pacifiers and forgetting that the nonsense is going on. You need to stand up, develop that backbone and brain, and the only way you're going to do that is by getting back onto your own two feet and back into your own body, back into the cloud. <laughs>